The Netherlands, which is leading the investigation into what happened to flight MH17, has asked Britain to decode the two black box flight recorders recovered at the crash site. Uh, for more on the probe, let's cross now to uh, Artis Roman Kostarev, who's in Donetsk for us. Um, for a man there, we're hearing that the probe is underway. What more can you tell us about the progress that's been made? This, the investigation had uh, finally began uh, five days after the crash uh, took place. Uh, the bodies of the victims that, be, that were recovered at the crash site were initially taken uh, to the city of Torres, about 10, 15 kilometers away from the crash site, stored in uh, railway car, uh, uh, refrigerated cars, and uh, they had then been taken to the city of Donetsk and then to Kharkov. Uh, apparently, Interpol are now working in Kharkov on identifying the bodies, and uh, Dutch Prime Minister said, that these uh, bodies will be flown to the Netherlands uh, as soon as it can be uh, done. Uh, and uh, when he said Wednesday uh, could be the day. Uh, meanwhile, the head of the Dutch forensics team, uh, Peter Van Fleet, uh, said that uh, he is satisfied with the way the bodies had been stored and uh, transferred uh, to the uh, uh, to Kharkov beyond the, the territory controlled by uh, self-proclaimed uh, defense forces here in eastern Ukraine. Uh, meanwhile. The the black boxes uh, had been uh, given to the uh, uh, British aviation authorities at the moment after they were delivered uh, to uh, Malaysian aviation experts uh, who arrived uh, here five days after uh, the crash. Uh, meanwhile, the OSC monitor mission who are working here on the ground uh, uh, expressed uh, satisfaction with the way um, uh, everything is being handled here and uh, uh, Malaysian aviation authorities, uh, Malaysian airlines. Uh, aviation authorities who arrived here on the scene also said they have unrestricted access. The um, Malaysians have um, expressed uh, gratitude for the access they received today. They were quite happy with it. Um, in fact, they said they felt quite protected. Um, they have also said that they have not seen ev any evidence of parts, at least major parts, missing from any of the crash sites we visited today. Uh, the OSC spokesperson uh, also uh, said that uh, perhaps it's time for those people with more expertise uh, to finally come here to the Donetsk uh, region. And uh, also he said they're yet to hear or uh, see the people from the international aviation authorities. Okay, thanks, Raman. That's uh, Artis Raman Kosarev.